Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Oh man. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog. And today I have some bad news. Unfortunately, um, it looks like, for those of you who are fans of the Scream comic book, and I feel bad, honestly, I'm The Venom Channel, and I haven't even covered the book yet. I think I maybe reviewed issue one, but I, you know, I said, oh, I'm going to wait just because of money. I spent so much money on Absolute Carnage and then just I knew I was moving and stuff. And I was like, man, I just got to I got to wait, and, you know, to buy the main series and I'll just buy it in trade and I'll support it that way. Um, I ended up buying the single issues on Comixology anyway, just to read it because our friend Let's Talk Scream, she, you know, raves about that book. I mean, she built a YouTube channel around it, a Twitter page around the character, and she's clearly a dedicated fan. And what broke my heart was that Marvel announced that they're canceling the series. And like I said, I feel bad because I feel like I have a, I don't have a big, huge platform, but I have a bigger one than some, and I should have talked about the book a lot more. Um, you know, I had Ali on the Parasite podcast where we talked about it a little bit, um, and I know like Venom Sight or Venom Maniacs and some of those other guys, they had Ali on and to talk about the character and Ali write stuff for them sometimes about, about Scream. So I know noise was made, but I feel like I could have made more noise. And so I do apologize to, you know, and I know some people are gonna be like, dude, it's not a big deal. It's like, I know, but I, I still feel bad because the, the book has been canceled now by Marvel. And, I've, and it's like, even maybe even if I did something, it, this probably still would have been inevitable. I, I think the writer came out and said that it was because of COVID and the delays and stuff like that, that kind of hurt the book. Um, and that's a shame, you know, and, but I still feel like I could have done a little bit more. So to the team who made that book, you know, I do apologize. Like I, sh I should have done a little bit more uh, covering it. And uh, I just felt like, oh, I'll wait for it to come out and trade. I'll wait for the first five issues to finish. And, uh, and that's what I did. I, after round issue five came out, I just went and bought all of them on Comixology. And then I was like, okay, I'll plan to do a review of these five. And then I'll do a, re a review of issue six because I read that one, the double size one. And that was great. And the book has been great. So if you're wondering what my thoughts are on that book, now that I've read it all, it's awesome. It's really awesome. And I'm, I'm so bummed it's going away. But I know I'm not more bummed than a lot of you out there who have been vocal about it, who have been supporting it, um, you know, and have been out there every day championing it. And, you know, obviously the hashtag scream for scream from our friend Ali at Let's Talk uh, Scream, um, you know, it's and she did a scream day to celebrate the book returning. And I mean, that's dedication, man. And I know that the writer and the artist of the book, like they were dedicated to making a really good book. I liked what they were doing. They they were bringing Shriek back, you know, as the Demogoblin. Um, they had a Punisher issue with Sandman, which was really cool. Uh, you know, they had, uh, there's been just really neat and great character stuff with Andy in that book, especially bringing in a potential love interest in the most recent issue um, and then dealing with motherhood and and that kind of thing. And it's it's just neat. It's a different kind of voice for symbiotes. It's a it's a book that is very street level, but still ties into the big epic stuff, but it's more street level, which I feel like was a good balance to Donnie Cates' stuff. Donnie Cates' stuff is so not street level. It's just going totally cosmic. And I felt like having a book like Scream or having a book like Ravencroft kind of helped balance that a little bit. So to see that it's being canceled right in the middle, like, I, you know, issue six is the last issue. They're not going to release, apparently, issue seven. And it was drawn. The artist of that book was actually putting up artwork. And I'll put some of those images up here. Um, but I'll put a link to his uh, Twitter account down below. And also Ali, like, support. And I'll put, I'll try to find the other creative people on the book, um, uh, you know, and I'll put their names down below so you can follow them and try to make some noise. I mean, normally I say don't bug a company, don't reach out to a company and tag them and all that stuff. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like that works a lot of times but then again you know foot and mouth you know obviously it worked for the Snyder Cut fans they went above and beyond I feel and made a lot of noise maybe if we do too we can you know help at least get the series to have a an organic ending at least let the writer and the artist tell one more story just wrap it up I mean I understand the business side of it I know Marvel's probably hurting after the pandemic a lot of companies are so to hire people spend money on these books I get it maybe it's not a smart business move and so on that reason of course I understand it but I feel like there is a, a, a very hardcore fan base out there 
even if you don't continue the current series, maybe if you just do a mini series where you get a new number one or you just ha have them finish it and put it out just as a trade paperback, as a graphic novel. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's still going to be the same financial mess you're in anyway. Uh, so I guess it still doesn't make sense financially. But this just broke my heart and I just kind of wanted to rant and talk about it a little bit. And, and also apologize for not doing more. Like, you know, I know, I know some people are going to be like, dude, it's not on you to do that. But on some level, it kind of is like we're a community here and we celebrate each other and we, you know, prop each other up and we prop up the hard work being put in stuff. And even when I'm negative and critiquing negative stuff, I still encourage you guys to go buy the books that I'm being negative on uh, because that's what keeps this community alive. And so when the books die, the part of the community dies. And so it, it's a real shame that we're not going to have this screen book. We all knew it wasn't going to last forever, uh, you know, obviously, but I figured it would last at least 10 or 12 issues before they decided to pull the plug on it. And maybe that screen would tie in to the next big event somehow, which we'll talk about here as soon, because that was announced also. But um, we'll talk about that in the next episode. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just I just felt bummed. And I just felt like, ah, I looked back and I was like, ah, I feel like I could have done a little bit more, talked about a little bit more. And uh, even though Scream is not a favorite character of mine, she's still part of the world. She still had her own book. And I, you know, same with Ravencroft. I didn't really talk a lot about Ravencroft. I don't think I reviewed any of those books. I own them all digitally, but I don't think I reviewed any of them. And I, it's just a matter of time. Like I got behind on stuff. And, I, and granted, we're in the pandemic. I should have made more time to do that stuff because I am just sitting at, sitting at home, but I am resting, you know, that also. So it's like, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just, I'm owning up and saying like, you know, if you feel like I didn't do enough for the screen book, you're right. You know, uh, for those of you who feel that way. Um, and, uh, and same with the Ravencroft fans. You know, a lot of you guys told me to read the books. It took me a while. I finally did in digital. I do love them. They're both great books. Uh, they both bring interesting ideas and concepts to the table. Uh, you know, Ravencroft, which is definitely going to be tying into the Null stuff big time uh, and has Norman Osborn stuff in it. It's really cool if you haven't read that. And same with Scream. You know, this was a really great book and it was consistently good. Actually, I would say no offense to Donnie and them. This is a better book than, you know, I, I love Ryan Stegman's artwork maybe a little bit more. But uh, as far as a structure, story structure and stuff, I felt like this was just a better book. And it's a bummer that the better book is going away because of maybe because of sales, but also because of the, you know, the world we live in with the pandemic affecting everything. It's, it's a bummer to see this book go away for sure. And, uh, and if you guys do feel the same way, I would encourage you to maybe go and tag, you know, um, Marvel on Twitter if you want, or, you know, post about it on Facebook and say like, Hey, we really want Scream to come back. Feel free to use Ali's hashtag Scream for Scream and just try to make some noise and, and tag the writers and the, and the artists of the book and see if we can't collectively make a small impact. I'm not, I mean, chances are we won't. I mean, I, I don't want to sound negative, but I just, in cases like this, I, I don't always see the, the positive outcome, but don't let that stop you. I feel like we should still try. We should still reach out to them and we should still have some hope that maybe our voices will be heard and maybe the fan base of this book will be heard and that, you know, a really solid book that was being put out monthly consistently should still live in some way and it should come to a natural conclusion. And I understand the business form of it might not lead, you know, might not lend to that, but I feel like it's a little bit worth the risk. And I, I feel like we should get the books in some form. I don't know. Uh, but those are my thoughts. You know, what do you guys think? I don't have really any solutions other than I feel like this is something maybe worthy of making noise over. I've seen people do it. They've been respectful. Nobody's been tagging Marvel going, you suck for doing this. Definitely don't do that. Uh, but tagging them and saying, hey, we're I'm part of the loyal fan base of this book. And I want to scream for scream. You know, I want the character to come back. Let the writers finish their story. Like, that's all we need. We just need them to finish the story they were working on so we can get a natural conclusion to it. Uh, because, I mean, the, like, what? I don't know if Donnie's going to do anything with Scream in his next event. I mean, he might, but I don't know. Uh, but if he does do something, maybe we need these issues that were going to be written to understand what that thing's going to be. So there's a purpose to it, you know, and we, and we, and we kind of, you know, as fans, you know, we, we, uh, we're not owed anything for sure. Uh, we're not entitled. We shouldn't be entitled, but the writers and everyone worked hard on this book and I just don't see a reason for it to end right now. I feel like it can end in a couple issues, but again, I don't know the logistics. Maybe one of you guys do. If you do, let me know down below. And if you heard anything else about why this book is being canceled other than COVID or, or sales or whatever, let me know that down below. I think it was just COVID. I think that's what the writer said was just, it screwed up the release schedule and then it, it, it kind of hurt some of the interest in it. And now that stores are coming back, it's just not a book that Marvel 
wants to spend money, I guess, printing right now because they have other books that they're printing. And then, you know, if they release it just digitally, they're going to not make any money doing that because not a lot of people read digital comics, not as many as read physical, I guess. So, yeah, it's just a bummer. It's a bummer. So, uh, you know, hopefully Marvel put out a trade with the first six issues in it. Uh, see how that sells. Maybe if we can get sales on that really high, that'll convince you to, you know, do a second trade or to bring back the book for a couple more issues. Like maybe that's where we got to put our energy. So, uh, so we'll do that too. I'll definitely buy the trade in physical form when it comes out. And I hope you guys do too. And I encourage you to do that as well. So let me know down below if you have any other solutions, we'll talk about them down there. And as always, uh, you know, thank you for watching the show. I'm sorry to bring bad news to you on this front. I, I really liked the book. I thought it was great. I'm sorry. I was a late bloomer. I'm sorry. I didn't do more. But uh, I will definitely buy the trade when it comes out and we'll do a review of the trade at that time. I'll just save my review for that so we can help hopefully promote the trade and get more people to buy the trade paperback for sure. So let me know what you guys think down below. As always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you in the future. Peace.